savages. Silence yourself. Ah! Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Savages LP, Silence Yourself. Savages is a UK post-punk band and this debut album of theirs, they have landed a release for it on Matador Records off the back of a very strong single, Flying to Berlin slash Husbands. The band put out some pretty impressive live recordings of their stuff last year as well. And the band's sound has a very authentic, retro, post-punk vibe to it. But it's very clear that the album we're dealing with here could have only been made today. There's a very modern volume and brightness to the recording on this album. And the band does a great job of mashing together some of the best ideas in the genre. Savages clearly works with a bird eye view of this musical era because they're able to appreciate the eccentricities and the aggression of a band like the, the, the Raincoats or the fast paces and the moodiness of some of the best tracks to come out from Joy Division and Bauhaus. The vibrato of the band's lead singer Jenny Beth may make a Susie Sue comparison very easy on this record, but Savages show very little of the pop appeal that Susie would show on some of her and her band's later records. On Silence Yourself, if anything, the band is pulling more from Susie's earlier, more punk-driven stuff. I could go on and on about the influences on this record, however, influence are not really a need to know. You don't need a bachelor's degree in post-punk to enjoy or get this record. Because the biggest thing this record has going for it is that it fucking rocks! Driving bass lines, guitars that blare out into the night with a really sharp tone and are emphasized with reverb, pounding drums! And Jenny's vocals atop all of it, which just raises the energy level of these songs higher. Now among the 38 minutes or so of music that Savages lays onto this LP, there are some surprises, namely tracks like Hit Me, which are incredibly noisy and chaotic. The guitars and the drums come together into this thick, thick mess of sound that kind of reminds me of like an Ice Age record. And on this track, Jenny has some really nasty just swagger to her vocals. Or the track Waiting for a Sign, which is very spaced out, slow, and dismal. Or the piano-led closing track on this LP, where Jenny's vocals turn from a shriek to a beautiful croon, and the transition is really nice. The piano isn't stuck playing the same dumb progression the whole time. There are some flourishes there, there are some little changes, little additions that are nice. Keep the track engaging, of course, Jenny's vocals, her lyrics are very dramatic on this song, and surprisingly, there is like a jazz bass clarinet solo on the tail end of this thing that goes over pretty well as well. The song Dead Nature is a bit of an oddball on this thing as well, it's kind of an intermission that separates one half of the album from the other half, but the rest of this LP is just brash, hard-hitting, post punk. Body moving beats coming from the drums, guitar leads that burn themselves into the eardrums. This record sounds like the world is on fire. And this record is the only thing that can put the fire out. Open up your windows, play this album, and let every neighborhood in America hear this shit. And this feeling is partially due to the incredible urgency that Savages delivers on some of these tracks with things like their tightness. On tracks like She Will, as well as this new re-recorded version of the song Husbands, the band is just they do not miss a beat, they are just a well-oiled post-punk machine, muscular playing on this thing. The instrumental side of these songs is just really, really impressive, from just catchy melodies to just hard-hitting riffs, but the vocals and lyrics really enhance these tracks with subject matters and poetry that can be kind of eye-widening and disturbing, abstract. The song I Am Here is a bold statement about the existence of oneself, and it is said with no fear. And these lyrics are backed up with guitars that are so loud they cannot be ignored. The riff on the chorus of this thing actually sort of a little bit reminds me of Queens of the Stone Age. The song Cities Full of has this really driving hook, just guitars propelling this chorus. And the tale that's being told in the track is one of love, dancing, lust. Jenny is sort of describing the wrinkled eyes and the stretch marks of her love interest. And the song No Face is an awesome statement of somebody who basically copycats their personality from really anywhere they can desperately grab it. And lyrically, the song She Will is an exploration of femininity, sexuality, desire. The song's melody, though, 
It's eerily similar to Joy Division's level Tear Us Apart. And the song Strife has this great slithering guitar lead and this totally lip-biting groove to it. I will say that this is maybe one of my least favorite parts on the LP though because of the chorus, which feels kind of flaccid. The guitar phrasing and the vocals aren't as sharp here as they are on many other spots on this LP. Overall, downsides with this album, there aren't many. There are some tracks that I just don't love as much as others, but if there is sort of a nitpick that I have, there are tracks on this album where Jenny, vocally, lyrically, comes across with a very direct, direct statement. I'm just saying there are moments where what she's saying feels so esoteric, I just really can't make heads or tails of it. But beyond that, the energy is stellar, the songwriting is really great, the structure on these tracks is solid, they're very straightforward, they're hard hitting, and yet they have peaks, they have valleys, they have different pieces to them. The production is freaking top notch, I wouldn't change a thing about it. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And yeah, that's about it. Anthony Fantano, Savages, Forever. <laughs>